What is good? It's your boy Get It back with another video. Today I'm gonna be sharing my results using this TCA acid right here. As you can see, I got my piercings on once again. My ears are healed. They actually, the scabs fell off yesterday, so they're not fully healed, but you know, they're good enough to be able to put the piercings on. They're gonna be healing slowly by themselves and the skin should start looking normal again. Cause you know, once the scab falls off, the skin's a little bit lighter. That's kind of where the face that I'm at right now. But before I get into this video, I wanna address some comments that I was getting on my last video. I got so much hate. For the few of you that actually, you know, were positive and giving me thanks that I was doing this and you wanted to see the results so you can try this out yourself, you know, you're welcome and thanks for the support i'm here and i'm making this last video so you guys can see this is going to be my last video because i'm not going to be applying the tca acid anymore i applied it three times and all three times it was a smooth process smooth sailing the whole way through i didn't have any problem all you literally do is put the acid on it's gonna burn for a few minutes after that your ears will get swollen obviously don't mess with your ears they're swollen and you just put acid on try to keep them as clean as possible obviously and i work outside so it's a little bit harder for me, but I still didn't get any bacteria. I didn't get it infected, nothing like that. But just in case, keep it as clean as possible. After that, you know, you're gonna get scabs. It's gonna get itchy, you know, do not pick at the scabs. If you get itchy, what I would do is just scratch around my earlobe without scratching off the actual scab. And then once the scabs fall off, you know, you let it fully heal and you decide if you want to reapply to make the gauge the hole even smaller or you can leave it as it is if you're happy with it and that's that but like i said i'm not responsible for what happens to you they're talking about oh the acid could fall all over somebody's face and it's going to be your fault because you're promoting this it's acid you shouldn't be dealing with 100 percent acid how is that my fault if you tip it all over your face that's like there's so many people out there doing tutorials on how to give tattoos and how to tattoo yourself so you're gonna tell me that those people that are teaching how to tattoo yourself are gonna be at fault if somebody else tries to tattoo themselves and they get infected and their freaking leg falls off no that's not their fault they're giving instruction and if other people want to go ahead and do that and they're not fully being careful then anything can happen it's not my fault if you dip a whole bottle of acid on your face by mistake, or if your ears get infected that's not my fault if you didn't put the effort for you to keep your ears clean then that's on you do this at your own risk remember i'm not a scientist i don't know everything and i still had good results and so if i can do it you can do it as well it's not brain surgery just follow the steps and you should be good in my first video i go step by step it's a pretty long video but it's worth it you watch it and you'll have more than enough knowledge to be able to do this on your own it doesn't take that much trust me. but now that i got that out the way i'm gonna go ahead and reveal how the ear holes are looking right now so let's get to that i'm gonna go ahead and take these off and as you can see i'm using regular piercings with regular back pieces i did not change anything this isn't an eraser or anything like that and this is the other one this is how my ears look as you can tell it's really pink around the hole like i said the scabs just fell off so that's how your skin looks when scabs fall off it's not done healing eventually it will get the same color as my skin and it'll look fine but yeah it's not perfectly flat but i'm perfectly fine with this i wanted to get the gauge hole small enough to you know where i could wear piercings and it's literally there There's barely a hole you cannot compare that to the 916s that i was wearing before look at this Look at the difference. This is the size of my whole earlobe. And that's the size that I was wearing. If you can, if you guys want, you can go ahead and check out the first video and you'll see how big the ear hole already was. But yeah, and this is the other one. This one's looking a little more red. You know, there was a lot more scabs on this side than it was on the other side, but the hole looks a lot smaller on this one. So I don't know. So you guys saw the results. Like I said, do this at your own risk. If you're willing to do this, if you don't want to do it, then fine, don't do it. You don't have to go and start giving me hate comments. And by the way, the more comments a video gets, the more it jumps out into the algorithm and produces more views. So, I mean, I guess thank you guys for all those comments, those beautiful comments that you guys were leaving under my video. It helped me get more views, so thanks. For everybody that was supportive and, you know, wanted to see the results, I guess there you have them. And if this helped you out, make sure to like this video. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. It really helps out a lot. You know, we're going up. If you learned anything in any way, you know, it was my pleasure. Uh, but I guess that's gonna be it for the video. I'm gonna go ahead and put these piercings back on. If you wanna see how my ears look with the piercings on, I'm gonna go ahead and show you right quick. So that's one of them. You literally can't even tell I ever had gauges on. This is the left ear and this is my right ear. It looks like I pierced my ears and then had them like that forever, honestly, if you ask me. And I'm always gonna have these piercings on so you're never really even gonna see how the ear hole looks. I'm always gonna have these on 
And even if I do take them off, I don't think it's a big deal. That I, I feel like they don't look that bad. But I mean, that's personal preference, so whatever. It was my pleasure if I helped you out in any way. Let me know down in the comments if you, if you guys have any questions or if you'd like to see another video, you know, like maybe a week from now or a month from now, two months from now to see how my ears have, you know, healed up. But I mean, besides that, I guess we're pretty much done with the video. If it helped you out in any way, please smash that like button. It really does a lot and it doesn't cost anything. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe if you like this type of content. But besides that, it's your boy Yeti and we're signing out. Gah.